And I've seen this before, but I saw me right up. And the temple was built. She said, oh, I live here. I think the community really took that to heart after she died and thought of the temple as a place where you could access Swamirada. Mm -hmm. You Now that that temple's gone, is she still here? She's here, for sure. She never went anywhere. She stayed here because it would bring other people together. And that was her hope, mm. to keep and be here for others, to be able to understand who they were. And it was always amazing to me to see how that came about with other people, because the first time I was here, like living here, one of my jobs was to take people to the temple. Mm -hmm. And every time I did that, it was like they, they were just stunned in some way. Like, oh. And up to this day, it's like so quiet, so peaceful in the temple. And I, I think she just is that essence of allowing people to have space mm. and to know who they are. Mm. And what do you think of the transitional temple? It's wonderful. <laughs> it's just so nice to have to have something here as something not finished or not but do, doing something for us. Um, allowing us to see that it is here and, and the people want to be part of it. Mm. And it just gives us that time to move forward, but also be here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like it. It's just like us and the woods and the lake. And it's just good. And what uh, do, is there a vision for the new temple or what do you think the potential is in this next phase of creation of space here? It could be anything. But it's going to be very, very beautiful, mm. um, and and also very true. How I would say it. It's sort of hard to say because we all have our own ideas of what it is, and then we come together and we all have the same basic ideas. Mm of what it's going to be, but it's going to be itself. Mm. A new way to bring people to the, to the temple. And uh, I think it's going to work. 